Hello again, I introduce you another stretch of the Roman road that we are going to see from the sky. In this particular case, it is a Roman road that goes between Saragossa and Leon, specifically in the section that goes from Trishu in what is now Rioja to Libya, which is a Roman capital that was also in La Rioja, Sigisamunculum, the small Sassamon that is in Cerezo of Riotiron and Virofesca, the current Briviesca. This time we are going to see destroyed shattered sections and also preserved sections, for the first time preserved sections that can be seen very well with aerial shots. For example, we have here a first section in Villa Labar de Rioja, which you see is completely destroyed, carved because of the land concentration that parceled out the land and put a new road right next to it, but the old one was cultivated. You see how the trace of the pavement gravel is tremendously noticeable. There at the back would be Trishu. And now we turn around completely to see this same shattered section. Take a look to the left of the current path. As you can see everything carved out of what was the Roman road. In the background to the left, we have Sigis Amunculum, which I have already mentioned. And to the right, here, very close, there was Libya. One of the Roman capitals of that time that retains the name of the current town of Leva, which is very close. Well, you see how the new path continues regardless of what the old one was, with what the old one has been carved out and all the pavement gravel can be seen perfectly on the ground, as always happens in these shots. It's a pity, because in this area of La Rioja it was completely destroyed. However, when we switch to the Burgos area, we are going to see how we can find some conserved stretch and, furthermore, promoted, which we will talk about later, because you can easily find these sites thanks to the promotion that was made of this section a few years ago. Well, there you see how the carved section of the Roman road emerges again from the left of the current road first very close to the road, then completely separated, with a track, in some shots that we are seeing in the middle of winter, in a time in which the cereal has practically not come out, it is still very incipient, but like the trace of the pavement gravel, as always happens on these situations, it is very noticeable on the farms. There in the background there is a small boundary, more than a path, which preserves the layout of what was the old Roman road, although logically without preserving it in any way. There on the right we can see a town that is precisely Leva. And now we are moving on to the Borgos area, between Cerezo de Riotiron and Briviesca, where you can see the perfectly preserved path between the fields that are being plowed. You can see how the embankment rises in this low flight, where it can be seen very well in some areas as it rises to a significant height. It is preserved even with the gravel itself that the Romans left on the ground, the rolling layer of the Roman road. Being there you can see it, obviously, not from the air. You can see here how the embankment rises and how today it is rolled only through the center, but originally it was much wider. This was a magnificent road, abandoned 2000 years ago and, with great luck it has been preserved and fortunately also promoted. Both from Cerezo de Riotiron and from Briviesca, you have signs to be able to see these preserved sections. Obviously, you have to move around a bit, you have to walk to see them but it's not difficult to get there, it's quite well signposted. Here you see a good preserved section of what is a Roman road, completely abandoned, without conservation, partially carved on one side and the other. The slopes were much more extensive, but it is still preserved. As you can see on the right, there is the embankment with an enormous height. As in these valleys the embankment rises to keep the longitudinal profile and as when there is a high hill area, the embankment goes down, because it does not need to maintain the longitudinal profile, so that it does not make the same waving that the terrain is making, the same undulations. This still preserved section of this Roman road continues, which curiously in the ancient cartography is called the road of the Romans and, however, neither the land consolidation, nor anyone who intervened, knew how to see it because, I tell you again, that universities still teaching Roman roads the wrong way, they are studied completely distorted, unfortunately, they cannot be identified and that is the cause of their destruction, there is no other cause, that is the true cause of their destruction. Then it continues, as you can see, with a new road, a road that modern machines made for a long stretch, and yet here, when it enters the municipality of Briviesca, a little further on, 
As you can see, it is still preserved, perfectly raised from the plowed soil. On both sides the slopes that form the trapezium have been cut and tilled by the farmers. They are not preserved and it only remains the rolling platform, but with the whole surface of the Roman road. It is a pity, but this is the only thing preserved. Nobody appreciated this. Nobody gave it value until it could be identified and it was said, this is a Roman road. It is a road with a very powerful infrastructure and it is worth preserving. Precisely many years ago, almost 20, we did an exploration there, at that point that you are now going to see with an arrow, to identify what the structure of the pavement of this Roman road was like, at that point. And the result was magnificent. Here you can see some foundation layers of the hard rock stone surface, made of plaster, but very hard, with its layers above natural rolling gravel, which are not present in that land area. They were carried from far away. This was already identified by an 18th century clergyman who in his writing stated that, following the Roman road he realized that there was unusual gravel in that area, which was necessarily brought from far away. Of course, it had been the Romans who had built that road. You see how already in this first exploration, in this survey, you can notice the two traces of chariot ruts in the lower parts, traces of the chariots that built the Roman road, which I have explained many times, chariots that tilted the gravel of the upper layers. This would be the interpretation of what type section was this Roman road originally, when it was new. Notice how the slopes have disappeared because they have been carved, but what a piece of road it was at the time, it allowed two chariots to cross, how big this Roman road was. Fortunately, as we have seen it is still well preserved in these areas of Burgos. Unfortunately, not in La Rioja, in the previous area. This is the final picture, with its technical explanation of the cross section. That's all for today's video, I hope you liked it, see you in the next video.